Last week, we examined the top five cases where autopilot caused accidents on the road. There were some nasty crashes, collisions unexpected and unexplained, which might just put you off investing in autopilot. However, this week, we're going to show you the top five instances where autopilot saved its drivers from collisions. These might just change your mind about autopilot safety if you were skeptical before. If you haven't already, have a look at our video on autopilot crashes, link in the description. Before we start into the list, let's briefly explore how autopilot works. There are various levels of autopilot as well as various detection systems that go into making it work. In order, autopilot can be rated as Level 0 – No Automation Level 1 – Driver Assistance Level 2 – Partial Automation Level 3 – Conditional Automation Level 4 – High Automation and Level 5 – Full Automation from this, we can see that autopilot can be as simple as a cruise control feature at level 1 and as advanced as full self-driving, also known as FSD, which would be level 5. When talking about autopilot, it's easy to misunderstand what is being spoken about. And that's not it. Besides the levels of autopilot, what are the types of autopilot? The primary systems behind autopilot's functioning are sonar, radar, lidar, cameras. Sonar stands for Sound Navigation and Ranging. It uses sound waves to detect what is around the car with high accuracy but very low range. It's also obstructed by fog and other bad weather conditions. It's even affected by temperature. Radar stands for Radio Navigation and Ranging. It uses radio waves to detect what is around the car with a low accuracy but high range. It's less easily obstructed than sonar, able to cut through rain and fog. LIDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. It uses light waves to detect what is around the car. And when we say light waves, we mean lasers. LIDAR is able to see in longer range and with accuracy, but like sonar, it is easily obstructed by poor conditions. Finally, cameras are self-explanatory. They record visually in detail and range like the human eye. However, the problem with cameras is your car won't know how to interpret the pictures it produces. Most car companies use a combination of these sensors in their autopilot systems, with LiDAR being the main sensor that collects most of the information. Sonar is commonly used as a parking tool, and radar for detecting far away obstacles. So where do cameras come in? Tesla has once again taken a controversial and unique stance when it comes to autopilot sensors, denouncing LiDAR and choosing cameras as their primary source of information. The CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, has said, LiDAR is, is a fool's errand, and, any, and anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. Expensive sensors that are, are unnecessary. It's like having a whole bunch of expensive appendice, appendices. Like one appendix is bad, well, now they want to put a whole bunch of them. That's ridiculous. So how is Tesla intending to make cameras the future of autonomous driving? By treating the cameras as eyes and the computer as a brain. Modern roads are built to be understood visually, so Tesla is programming their cars to be able to interpret images. Understanding depth and distance, as well as reading signs, traffic lights, and road markings are all things Tesla is training its computers to do, in the hopes that one day, it will be as good as us at navigating the roads. So now we have a basic understanding of how Tesla's autopilot cars work. Let's have a look at the times it has, well, worked. Number five, in this clip, no human lives are saved, but the life of an adorable rabbit is spared as the car notices it on the road. In the dark, and with the rabbit being so small, it's unlikely the bunny would have made it if not for the impressive sensors of the car. Number 4. Yet another example of a car seeing something it's unlikely any human would have seen in time. It swerves to avoid a car pulled off on the side of the road despite heavy snow making it invisible until the last minute. Number 3. Blink and you might miss it. In this clip, you can see a Tesla with a super-fast reaction time swerving to avoid another car changing lanes without properly checking to see if it was safe to do so. If the Tesla hadn't reacted, it's doubtful the driver would have been able to. Lucky, because that would have been a nasty crash for all parties involved. Number 2. In an extremely unorthodox save, this Tesla doesn't break or change direction to avoid a collision, it accelerates. By doing so, it avoids being rear-ended. It's another example of a superhuman reaction time and 360-degree awareness of its surroundings. 
Number one. Finally, at number one, this Tesla has to brake incredibly hard and fast to avoid a car speeding through a red light to crash into a van right next to it. It's going so fast, in fact, that it knocks the van it collides with completely over onto its roof. And that's it, Tech Wikis. Are you a fan of Tesla's autopilot? Would you trust an autonomous car to preserve your life on modern roads? Let us know in the comments below. Also, please like and subscribe to keep our channel growing healthy and strong. Thanks for watching. Bye.